These things, I swear, are one of the creepiest looking bugs. Just had quite a morning. The vacuum cleaner literally keeps trying to fall down the stairs. And it's finally about to re-engage with my workout, which I've made it like two minutes in. Oh, and that's the vacuum cleaner again. And I see this creepy ass thing on the wall. So I'm gonna have to kill him. Oh my God, it did it again. It's not even supposed to do this. There's supposed to be like sensors that stop it from trying to fall down the stairs. What is wrong with you? I put a garbage can at the top of the stairs to block the vacuum. It just completely knocked it down the stairs. This vacuum cleaner is obsessed with trying to go downstairs. Definitely not a usual spot for my Zaro. What are you doing here, boy? So we got this special treat for being a Yelp Elite member. It came with this little, like a portable charger and then a Yelp bag. And Yelp is having to do creative things now that there's a worldwide pandemic. So they had like a discounted meal you could purchase from a new restaurant called Kabobski. This is a mini piece of baklava. Okay. Or baklava we come this is a bowl with a bunch of vegetables and some falafel and tzatziki and et cetera, et cetera. Um, fries, some pita chips. I'm not gonna recall what this is. I think this is like hummus and tahini. So we're making some lemon corn waffles with, with blueberry sauce for breakfast. So I've got all my stuff together. I'm gonna start pulling everything together now. So here's the first properly finished waffle. It's a very airy batter, which I'm not opposed to, um, but it can make it like a bit delicate. So let's get the rest of them out. So this is a very sticky dough batter, and I'm not actually loving it that much. I don't know that I would make this again. This is the finished product. I would not make this again. The batter was just very annoying to work with. Thank you. You know, watch for it behind me. That's crazy. Really cool. Stopped at Sitwell's for their delicious gyro. Got a daiquiri and a margarita. And I'm trying their empanadas. It's burger week. So our first stop was Bangin' Burgers. So here's the burger. And it's supposed to be a portobello, but I guess they didn't have They're portobello. Right so he made it with just regular mushrooms. I don't know. That just seems a little disappointing to me. Like the whole point of Burger Week is to have what you're advertising for starters and kind of have like a specialty burger that you feature. But the fries look really good. Did you just get like cheesy fries? Yeah, it's a three cheese fry. Got our first pandemic screening. We're gonna watch The Stranger. And so our online screening will start in 23 minutes. I think we're going to just Hook this up to the TV with the HDMI cable. Promise I'm not gonna actually record the movie, but I thought it was interesting, all the anti-piracy stuff that comes up. Our second burger of Burger Week is from Mecklenburg Gardens. And this one I think is supposed to actually be a Beyond Burger. So it comes with some chips. And then Francisco really wanted to get these loaded fries, but they look really lame. They're just like drenched in some thin cheese sauce. I don't know. I had suggested other appetizers to him, but he was not having it. And I think my food would have been better. Robots, man. I don't think they're ready to take over the world just yet. It's been in here for several minutes. Just kind of turning in a circle, trying to find its way home. I think it's battery is eventually just gonna die before he ever figures out how to get out of the kitchen. Francisco just came home early and surprised me. It's not even 2.30 yet because he donated blood. So he got me a shirt and some Oreos. It was like tied with local businesses. So depending on where you went, you would get like a like a extra gift. So it was like the Rosas, you get pizza and buskin, you got you got donuts. So he gave me a, a dozen. Ooh. Those two Oreos were supposed to get. She was nice. These look good. Very good. 
Just in time for my snack. Some good looking donuts. I'm drawn to this one. I got that one for you too. And this one. Well, any of them we can share. They look delicious. They look really delicious. Thanks for the surprise, bub. And thanks for being a hero. <laughs> I went to the library trying to get a hold. I've been wanting to see this show for a while now. I've like checked every screening service I could even think of to see if we could. You scoured every streaming service we have. Scoured. When I get something in my mind, I just need to make it happen. But I finally found this available at the library. So we checked it out, which is like the first physical thing we've checked out of a library in a very long time. But it's supposed to be like about uh, like the, like the discovery of Ebola, or kind of like. I know the recent Ebola the, outbreak, the one in, the one like a few years ago, right? Mm, the Ebola's I been around it was for a like while. When it was being researched, in 1989, I mean, Ebola wow. landed on U.S. soil. One woman risked everything to contain it. We got our order from Buffalo Wings and Rings: some onion rings, some Parmesan garlic fries. This little bitty strawberry shake that costs six dollars but looks like a kid shake. And then the main thing we got is these cauliflower wings. Francisco made some grapefruit shrubs, so he put some rum in mine. I think it's a little heavy on the vinegar. Yeah, so to be clear, a shrub is like a it's like a vinegar syrup that you make by taking fruit and like soaking it with vinegar. Too much, too much, too much uh, shrub? Shrub mix in there. Okay. Wow. He made his with tequila, so. Yeah. Get Mine's kind of a, a Paloma, Paloma vibe. And we got our leftover poblano pepper from Django. So, let's see how you like your tequila one. It's fine. I think I like, I like shrubs in moderation. Mine just needs some more dilution. It's way too vinegary right now. So. Get our tomatoes. It, it, the um, recipe didn't really give a lot of direction as far as like, how much to use or whatnot. Do Zaro. Just try and brush it. Just try and brush it. Just try and brush it. We're going to make these tasty cookies and cream stuffed cookies. We actually got two dessert kits, so there's this one, and then in a later time, We'll make these galaxy stuffed cookies. So let's take a peek at what's inside here. So it comes with some white chocolate, Baker's chocolate, and then two packages. Beet butter, egg, and chocolate cookie mix with hand mixer until blended. Freeze 15 minutes. Meanwhile, break off six small rectangles from white chocolate bar, then break each small rectangle in half. Reserve remaining chocolate for later use. Reserve one tablespoon chocolate cookie crumbs for later use. Pour remaining chocolate cookie crumbs into shallow dish. Hi Zaro. Look at him, trying to be a helper. Right, the timer went off, Francisco's still downstairs, so I'm here to get the Frozen cookies out. Oh, he really jammed them up. Oh, okay, got them. Oh, got them, got them. Now we have to scoop chilled cookie dough into 12 mounds using one tablespoon dough for each mound. Flatten each into a two inch round. Place one piece of white, oh man, this is getting complicated. And then you're gonna mold dough around the chocolate to completely enclose it. Now you're gonna roll it in the cookie crumbs in the shallow dish. Place on the parchment paper, and that was step one. I mean, that was cookie, cookie one. What's up? You're disgusting. You're not even supposed to be eating that, bro. You know how much raw flour and cookie dough I've eaten? That's raw egg in there. Not the first time, not the last. We're one cookie short, but they're ready to go in the oven. Oops, so here's our cookies. They've been in for just around 10 minutes. Not as big as I was thinking. We have to microwave the rest of the white chocolate bar for a minute until melted and then drizzle over warm cookies and top with reserved chocolate cookie crumbs. I mean, I think these are really straightforward cookies, honestly. Yeah. Like, you could make these at home by yourself. Sure. Without a kit. Oh, I would probably agree with that as well. 
I didn't get to the middle. Yeah, they spread an awful lot for how small that piece of chocolate was. I still didn't get to the middle. It wasn't really centered. Overall, it's good. I'm not a huge white chocolate fan. I like the dark chocolate uh, from like the Oreo part of it or whatever. It's good. Now you're gonna eat your special heart cookie. Oh yeah, you can't really see it anymore, but there was a heart there. I made that heart. They're surprisingly good. Like you said, there's that nice like dark chocolate. And I like white chocolate, so this is all over a win for me. They're pretty good. Yeah. We each had one, and this is what's left, so it just doesn't seem to make a ton for just, you know, a quick little batch of a dozen cookies. They're fine. I don't know if that. Look at me. Just... Come here. Come take a photo with me. Here I am. Does it only do one at a time? It seems like it. Oh, would you like it? You were married to me. Oh, I'm married to you, and I'm um, not a part of it. Oh. So we just got our Grubhub order from Mikey's Late Night Slice. Francisco was saying how interesting it was that there's this tamper evidence seal on it, but it's literally just taping the receipt to yeah, the bag. It's not stopping us from getting <laughs> into anything. Not actually stopping any tampering from happening. Yeah. So we got our breadsticks. And the pizza, it's very food. greasy. Just stacking food on paper plates is not ideal here and they forgot our dessert. Yeah, this one was not a success. I'm the asshole. This is Francisco's first time seeing the squirrel eating all the bird food. Did he jump? He jump. <laughs> Literally cannot believe this is a show. I guess this is just the times we're living in. Sometimes Francisco is literally the sweetest. Yesterday they left out this unicorn bar that we ordered with our dinner order from Grubhub and it was basically like a, a Fruity Pebbles like Rice Krispie bar type of thing and look at this. He went and got this without even telling me and that's just really sweet. And here are our unicorn bars with the fruity pebbles. They seem a little, um, fluff heavy. Hi Colby.